Hi guys, how are you? Here is a very interesting question. This is an alpha beta unsaturated ketone which is treated with CH3I then potassium tertiary betoxide. What will be the product? This question came in CSR net exam. So guys, as we can see that this is the nucleophile here. SME to SME group is there, so sulfur has two lone pair of electrons, so it will act as a nucleophile. And CS3I, which will act as a electrophile. So first, when this is treated with CS3I, what will happen? this lone pair will attack and it will converted to and SME2 group so this will form now if it is treated with a base potassium tertiary betoxide KOTBU so it will it will abstract a proton which is most acidic here so here the sulfur is positive so these two methylic proton and these protons are acidic now between this methylic protons and this protons methylic protons are more acidic because here the alkyl group here the carbon is 2 degree so this is less acidic than this methylic proton so it will abstract preferentially this methylic proton again I am telling that here here you can see that these protons these protons are more acidic than this proton because here the carbon is 2 degree and this alkyl group has plus i effect so corresponding anion will have less stability than this anion so the potassium tertiary betoxide will abstract proton from this uh, any of these two, uh, two methyl group So the corresponding NN will be formed let's say this is CH2 minus Me plus this is called an elide sulfur elide sulfur elide sulfur elide now what will happen it will act as a nucleophile and one for addition will take place that is a conjugate addition will take place so this anion this nucleophile will attack into this carbon and a conjugate addition will take place so what will happen So I am drawing this in this way here the S now this is the CH2 here one CH3 group is there positive charge will be on sulfur now when it will uh, return this will attack into this carbon and this will act as a good living group so here a three member ring cyclopropyl ring will be formed so if 
there is a uh, there is a bond between this carbon and this carbon so there will be a three member ring here and it will be a c double bond o group here will be a three member ring and this is the sorry this carbon will not be here so here it will be this group is yes, me so guys this will be the product so now we will discuss the relative stoichiometry between this cyclopropyl group and this group so this was our substrate now let's say this is above the plane of this ring so we have to determine whether the cyclopropyl ring will be above the plane or below the plane now this is a uh, cyclohexane system so cyclohexane system will have half chair conformation now if we draw the half chair conformation of this cyclohexane then we will get a conformation like this here the double bond o and here is a six member ring and here the SME2 group CH2 SME it is above now if it is treated with CH3I then this sulfur will attack and one iodine will remove so it will be like this here double bond o now is sorry is ch3 ch3 plus I minus now if it is uh, treated with potassium tertiary butoxide this will be converted to CH2 minus and it will attack in this carbon so the product will have conformation Now we have to shift one carbon towards left. Now this carbon will draw here and this carbon will draw here. This carbon will draw here. So now the O minus will be attached here. This will be the O minus and now this carbon will be this this carbon is now here this is here this is here let's say this is one two three four five six now this is one this is two three four five six so the stereochemistry of these two will be it will be like this and the six member ring will be here the six member ring will be here 
now you can see that if CH2 group will attack here then this geometry will be like this this CH2 is this CH2 now it will be attack here so this ring will cleave now again we'll draw a cyclopropyl ring will be formed here and this will formed above the plane now again we are now this carbon will come here this is number one carbon so it will be like this and here the S CH2 S ME group will be above this will be 1 this will be 6 5 4 3 2 so this will be our product now you can see that this cyclopropyl ring and this SME2 group are above the plane above this plane so in our product this SME2 group if the SME2 group is above the plane this cyclopropyl ring will be above the plane so guys the relative stoichiometry this will be the relative stoichiometry of this product if you have any doubt regarding this video please let me know in comment box and to get more such interesting videos subscribe my channel thank you have a good day